Hey guys, so in our previous tutorial, we have created a registration API in our Node.js project and we have created a Flutter app with a registration form through which a user can register himself in our database. Okay, so in this tutorial, we are going to create a login API through which a user will be able to get logged in from our Flutter app. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so here as you can see, I have a registration uh, API been created. So down to it, we am going to create a login API. Uh, which will be of type post method okay you can just uh, copy this and paste it over here and just change the name of this api as login okay so now in our controllers file we need to create a function uh, that will be called whenever this uh, api is been hit from the front end okay so we need to create it first and then use it over here okay so let's go to controller so controllers is in controllers folder user controller and you can see here we can create function something like this okay so i will just copy this function and paste it down export and let's name this function as login okay so this will be of type async which will accept uh, two parameters that is uh, request and response okay so request is the data that is been requested from our front end and response is the data that is responded from our back end to a front end okay uh, so this is it okay so here from the front end we are going to pass two parameters that is email and password as we have done in a registration form you can see over here okay now here we must check if this email that has been passed from the front end is exist in our database or no so let me open my mongodb okay so we must check if the user passed email address is exist in this database or no and if it is exist then we can uh, move further okay so let's do that so for that we first of all we must create a function in our service folder that will make call to our mongodb database by making use of uh, our model that is user model okay so let's go to our service folder okay so over here let's create one more function uh, where we are going to check if a user email exists in our database or no okay so let's do it now so here let's create a function that is static function so static a sync function as we are going to make a network call to our database we need a static function okay so here let's name it as check user and in this function we are going to pass a parameter that is email okay so here let's make use of try and catch block to handle the error now in try block we can make use of user model and uh, get the data that is been stored in our database of this user okay so for that we can make use of return await user model and inside this user model you can directly simply pass our email address that is been uh, given by our user from our front end okay so here uh, if the user exists of this email address then the data will be written that is the user data will be written back to our controller so we are going to get the data over here and let's do that now so const user is equal to user services dot check user okay so here we need to pass our email that is been sent from the you the api uh, sorry the app okay so if this user exists then we are going to go further okay so so if not user okay so if do not user do not exist then we can simply throw an error okay so we can just throw it as new error and let's pass the message over here okay and if the user exists then we need to check if the password that the user has entered is a correct password that he has entered previous in our database record or no okay so for that we are going to make use of uh, our model so inside this model as we have done this pre we are going to uh, compare our password and make use of mongoose schema compare password method 
to compare the password by making use of bcrypt okay so let's do that so now in user model let's create a function so user schema dot methods dot you can just create your own uh, methods or functions so here so compare okay so this function will be of type a sync okay and this function will accept one parameter that is a password parameter that has been passed from our user uh, front end so i will just name it as user password okay okay so let's use try and catch block and handle our uh, add any errors okay so now here const is match is equal to await bcrypt dot compare pass compare and here we need to pass two parameters one is our password that the user has entered and one is the data this password okay so we need to and pass this two parameters to our bcrypt compare so let's do that okay and to pass our user a database password we can make use of this dot password this dot password okay so our function is been ready in our user model so just copy this function name come back to controllers and after checking if the user exists in our database or no as we are going to check our password we need to call this function immediately if our user exists okay so we can do it over here so over here const is match you can just name it anything is equal to user dot compare password and to this uh, function we are going to pass the user entered password from our front end okay something like this so what this will do is it will just pass our user data the from our database that is the real database to our user schema and here while passing we are passing our password that the user has entered and we are just comparing both the password if they are matching then we are just read okay, so i just forgot to return over here return is match okay so this will just pass true or false depending on the matching parameter okay and here it will we will just return true or false okay and now here if is match is equal to equal to false so if it is false then it means that the user enter password is incorrect okay so we can just throw an error so password invalid okay okay and if our password uh, matches then it means that the user has logged in successfully and now we need to make use of a response to send the response back to our front end okay so let's do it by making use of jwt token so inside our jwt token we are going to store our users data that is user id okay so let me show you user id email we are going to store it in our uh, jwt token okay so let's do it now okay so over here uh, let token data is equal to underscore id we will just get it from user dot underscore id and email we will get is from user dot email id okay so in this token we are going to store our user data okay and now we need to en uh, encode it so let's make use of uh, jwt package okay so for that we need to pass this data to our services folder and in services folder we must create 
a function that can generate a JWT token for us. Okay, so let's create it. Okay, so over here, static async generate token. And here we need to pass three parameter as per a JWT rules. Uh, one is the data that you want to store in our JWT token and one is the secret key and one is the session time that uh, token should be valid. Okay, so here let's create uh, except three parameters token data secret key and third parameter is JWT expiry okay so this three parameter we are going to accept in this function okay and now we can just make use of return okay so let's import our JWT model over here JWT is equal to require json web token okay so let me check if we have installed it or no okay so it is been installed okay so now jwt dot sign okay so here we need to pass three parameters one is our data json token data the second one is our secret key and in third parameter we must pass the expiry time okay so expires in jwt expire okay so now our function is been ready okay so now from the controller we need to encode it in a jwt format okay so here const token is equal to await user services dot generate token and you can see we are accepting three parameters okay so so the first parameter is our json data the second parameter is our secret key so you can just keep any secret key over here Okay, so you can just enter one, two, three, or anything. Okay, so we'll just keep it as it is. User, so this is our string, and here we need to pass for how many time uh, after how many time this JSON token should get expired. Okay, so you can just enter one hour. Okay, so after this, this will just generate a JWT signature and pass it to this token okay so now we need to response this token back to our uh, flutter app by making use of response okay so here response dot status 200 dot json okay so here let's pass an object so status i will just pass as true and uh token i'm just passing our token okay so our uh, function the login function has been created successfully okay so now in our routes folder uh, whenever this uh, login api has been hit we need to uh, run this function okay okay so now let's check if it is working or no okay so let me run my project okay so let's open my postman okay so registration is over here okay so let me register because i don't remember my old password of any email address okay so I will just register one new email. 
okay so this is running on port 3000 so it is correct yeah okay so register yeah so it is not working okay so it is registration So this is our API, yeah. Okay, so register successfully. Okay, so the same parameter I will just use it for login purpose. Okay, so let's check what response we get. So it is get giving me an error, I think so. Compare password is not a function. Okay, so let me check what is an issue. Okay, so it is saying user dot compare password is not a function. Okay. Okay, so let me try, but I don't know if it this works or no. So I will just add an await key over here. Refresh, restart our app project okay so now let me try to log in okay, so yeah it is not working okay so i just got it yeah i think so because here i did not make use of await key okay and without waiting for this response i was just trying to make use of this uh, data and we are going to try the uh, comparing password okay so let's uh, add this await key over here so restart our project okay so now let's hit okay so same thing is getting repeated okay so this time it is different okay so it is saying data and has argument required okay so sorry i just got this error so after researching for some time i got the solution for this okay so when i get this data from my database from my user database model and i have just uh, printed the data that we get from the database and as i can see over here there is no password uh, parameter been passed by the database okay so only it is passing user email address and its id okay but there is no password field uh, been passed by this uh, function yeah okay so due to which uh, i was getting this error that is data and has uh, argument are required and you can see it was saying undefined okay so after checking i got to know that where i have made mistake so over here so here we must make use of a find one and it will just find all the data so let's check now okay so connected okay so now you can see our data means the user got uh, logged into our database and this is the token that we can make use of in our front end to retrieve the data or to store uh, the user's data in our uh, flutter app in a uh, shared preference and handle our session over there okay so that's all for this video tutorial thanks for watching the complete source code of this project will be on my github repository there is no need to worry worry okay so thanks for watching